What is up YouTube, my name is Hawkgame. And I am Enigma Red. And welcome back to another Server Reminder video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than we usually do, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because today we welcome the brand new Server Reminder plugin reviews. Right, Nick? <laughs> this is so dramatic. Yeah, it's so where we'll be showing you guys uh, different plugins every other week that you can install on the Server Reminder control panel. Basically, guys, yeah, quick and easy. Uh, to start things off, today's plugin is known as the Crackshot plugin. Uh, this plugin basically gives you an arsenal of guns and weapons to use on a bucket server. In order to use it, you're going to want to pull up the commands, which can be found after typing slash shot. Uh, as you can see, there are a few select commands that can be used here. List, give, get, reload, and configuration. The shot list command basically gives you the list of weapons you can use. What you can do is either choose to give a weapon to someone else using the slash shot give command if you're opt, or just get one for yourself with slash shot get. To give a quick demonstration, I'll type slash get and choose Python from the list of weapons. So you basically put in get Python one, and that number actually pertains to the amount of weapons that you get, not ammo. To give someone else a weapon, it's as simple as typing slash shot give and then their name and the weapon they want. So if I wanted to give Enigma a weapon, I'd just type slash shot give Enigma red and then the name of the weapon and the amount that he needs. Simple as that. The slash shot reload command basically explains itself. Weapons reload automatically when the ammo reaches zero. There's no need to go out and collect more ammo in the world. Survival adventure doesn't really matter. Seems to have unlimited ammo even in both modes. The last command on the list, slash shot config reload, basically just reloads the configuration file in case any mishaps or if you happen to customize these weapons yourself, because you can actually do that. All right, now that the commands are out of the way, now comes the fun part. It's time to list our top five weapons of choice. Coming in at number five is putty. It may sound squishy and harmless, but if used correctly, it can be the end of mankind as we know it, or maybe a little dramatic. But you use the right click to place these squishy little putty items around the area. You hide them behind trees as soon as your opponent comes around the corner you'll hit the left click and boom blows them up you get them every time coming in at number four are the cluster bombs otherwise known as cocoa pops uh, they don't look like much at first but tossing out one of these bad boys with a right click will cause it to spread out into multiple detonated TNT blocks and cause explosions all around its original location not pretty number three is what we like to call the Swiss cheese also known as the AK 47 this gun works the same way as it does in every other game it sprays down your opponents takes them all out just don't be in front of the gun that's the base rule of thumb. It also comes with a zoom in function so you left click and you can actually zoom in just like you would in a game staring down the scope and take out your opponents that way if you want to get a closer look at it. Coming in at number two is a gun we all know and love. It's the bazooka also known as an RPG. The directions are simple. Aim, left click, and explosion. The end. Nothing else. Works like a charm and kills 99% of germs. And finally, at number one, we have an all-time favorite, the airstrike. If you like quick, cheap ways to piss your friends off, the rule is simple. Place the torch down and run away. Disaster will follow, guaranteed. <laughs> All right, well, that about sums it up, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, would you care to tell the people how exactly to install this here nifty plugin, sir? Okay, so all you have to do in order to install the plugin is go to the server monitor control panel. You'll see a list on the left hand side that says files. Under that, you're going to look for bucket plugins. And in the little field where it says plugin names, you're going to type in crack shot. You go to the page that comes up and you hit the install button, restart the server, and you're set to go. It's that easy. Definitely, guys. Simple as that. And uh, we will see you guys in the next Server Miner Map Showcase slash plugin review slash Server Miner video slash thing about Bob. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, dudes. <laughs> Transmission out. <laughs> <laughs>